The final event is underway. You cannot advance to the next pull-up bar until the person in front of you is done. The beauty of team competition here at the CrossFit Games is the multiple different ways we test them. We've test synchro events where they have to move together, combo events like pushing a sled or using a worm, and in this format, you must do 30 pull-ups, but look at where the athletes are on the pull-up bar. The first person is your pace setter. You cannot advance into your next set of 30 until the person in front of you is done. So it's imperative that the person in the front is your best gymnast when it comes to chest of our pull-ups. Mayhem in the white and red. If you look at Pro One. They come in in fifth place overall. They are 50 points out of third. They're going to have to win this event and they get a lot of help in order to get onto the podium. They do, but listen, it's only 50 points. That's a first place finish. And between Servitan and Janas is a sixth place finish because of the scoring system that we have in our final 10 teams. And Pro One has showed that they can win events here at the CrossFit Games. CrossFit Mayhem is through 55 and counting of those 90 initial chest-to-bar pull-ups. Pro One now sits in second ahead of CrossFit Jana, who is in third. Jana trying to hang on to that third and final spot on the podium. We have never had a team from Europe finish on the podium at the CrossFit Games that ends in 2021. And it ends with two of them making it on top of the podium. But now the question is, what flag will be re represented in that second and third place position? Mayhem continues to lead. Janah sits in second, and it's Pro One in third. There is the point spread. Janah with 852, seven points up on Serbathon, 50 up on Pro One, and plus 6-4. They even have an outside shot of getting in. Everyone has a shot. If you if, if the wheels come off with 30 chest bar pull-ups times 390 total, this is the 13th event we have for the team competition. They've done 75 bar muscle-ups, 168 toes to bar, and a combination of moves and movements to tax them over four days of competition. This is not just 90 pull-ups. This is 90 chest of our pull-ups at your most fatigued level, physically and emotionally. CrossFit Mayhem, they are done with their 90 chest of our pull-ups. They will advance to the worm. They are trying to break their own record for margin of victory at the CrossFit Games. They won by nearly 200 in 2019. Right now, they lead by 219. And the trick here is just staying in sync and staying steady. Do not let the gravity of the moment get you out of your rhythm as a team. CrossFit Jana is in the green. They are ahead of the two teams chasing them right now in the overall standings. They walk 36 feet and then switch the worm to the opposite shoulder. The worm weighs 358 pounds. And this implement is to force teamwork, communication. And it's one of the things that we need to see from the fittest team on earth that they can handle a movement like this. Rasmus Jana way ahead of the two teams chasing them. And now the overhead lunge, first time we've done this at the games. First time I have ever seen this, heard of it, or even thought of it. And leave it to the CrossFit Games to throw something new at these teams to finish it out. Final few lunges for Rich Froning and CrossFit Mayhem and make some more room in the trophy case in Cookville. CrossFit Mayhem, they are your 2021 Affiliate Cup champions. CrossFit Jana in lane four. What? Continue to lead here. If they can get in next, they will hang on to third place overall. Jana 
saw the foursome of Carol Castellani, Julie Verne, Lucas Hueze, and Maxime Calzado. And with these final few lunges, the drought is over. Europe on the podium for the Affiliate Cup at the CrossFit Games. Plus 6-4 CrossFit. is starting to creep up. CrossFit Pro 1 just finished, but in order to get themselves on the podium, they had to finish ahead of Jana, and they could not do that. And now CrossFit Surbiton is in. Rich Froning, Chase Hill, Andrea Nistler, and Taylor Williamson win eight of the 13 events and set a new games record. You think he'd run out of records to break, Yet here we are, six years later since Rich first joined team competition. Plus six four is in, and CrossFit Nordic is in. CrossFit Oslo, who sat in second place coming into this event, they are still on the competition floor. Now Oslo is across. Comes I love it. They will finish in eighth. Two teams remain: CrossFit Resurrection and CrossFit Urban Energy. Urban Energy at the far side of the floor in lane two, and this is CrossFit Resurrection. The thing I love most about the team competition this weekend is the new affiliates making their way onto the big stage here in Madison, Wisconsin. We've always had that special club at the top. Mayhem being on top of that for quite some time in the last few years, but in this top 10, we have so many rookie teams and rookie affiliates sitting in this place, so the future is very exciting to see moving forward with a lot of these rookie teams doing so well here at the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games. CrossFit Urban Energy, two married couples on this team. Jay Lee Manzi, and Adam Manzi, and then Caitlin Van Zyl and Johan Van Zyl. They are in. And with that, the team competition at the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games is complete. And it's a fifth championship for CrossFit Mayhem. Down to the floor for the official announcement from Dave Castro. Your 2021 Noble CrossFit Games Affiliate Cup Champions, CrossFit Mayhem! Get down here, get down here. Rich Brony, Chase Hill, Taylor Williamson, and Andrea Nissler celebrating and a class move from Dave Castro to have the Brooke Wells jersey on. If you watched last night, you saw Wells uh, suffer an injury. She's no longer in the competition, so that's why he is wearing that Brooke Wells jersey. And the thing about the CrossFit community is we suffer together, we celebrate together, we enjoy our victories, and we empathize in our defeats. I'm very happy for Nissler and Williamson.